Cause we are never ever ever getting back to Oh damn Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about relationships And I have a special guest And she goes by Let me let her introduce herself Hey guys, what's up? My name is Stephanie I am also known as The Irish Summer Here on YouTube I make vlog, commentary, sketch style videos And I'm here today to tell you my pros and cons of being in a relationship, because let me tell you, there's a lot. So one pro of being in a relationship is that you always have someone to satisfy your needs. You guys know what I'm talking about. Sex. And I honestly believe that sex is the key to a healthy relationship. Shit. That and a bottle of scotch. Because when you yapping, I'm gonna be drinking and easing away the pain because you talk too damn much. Now the first thing I think of when I think of being in a relationship as far as pros go is that, you know, you're never alone. You always have someone to talk to, plane to, text 33 times a day. On the other hand, you're never alone. I mean, you know it's bad when you call in sick to work just so you can get a day home by yourself. Oh, I hate it when I can't have time to myself. Like, why can't I just sit down on the couch and watch a damn TV show without you having to ask me what the hell is going on? I don't know what's going on. I'm watching what you're watching. And why can't I hang out with my friends? So what if most of my friends happen to be females that have bigger breasts than you, dress better than you, and occasionally they smell better than you? At the end of the day, I'm with you, so give me some damn time for myself, girl. Another pro, in my opinion, of being in a relationship is that you always have someone to stick your cold feet on and or under. But if you're a guy, you're probably thinking, Man, I hate when she puts her cold feet on me. Damn right I'm gonna say that. One, I hate being cold. And two, I hate feet. Get them off me. And another pro, if you are narrow-minded like me, you always have someone to at least split the food bill with. And I guess another pro about being in a relationship is that you always receive help. As a guy, I'm not trying to do no dishes. I ain't trying to sweep them up around the house. And I ain't sure trying to do no laundry, okay? I need me a woman that's going to take care of all the house shit for me. And in return, what am I going to do? I'm going to do the shit that you refuse to do because it's too manly. And I will do that shit when I have the time. So please, back up off me and give me some damn space, girl. I know one of the other pros is in the winter, it's cold outside, it's cold inside because your shit broke and can't afford heating, and it's just perfect to snuggle up underneath the covers and just keep each other warm with all that body heat. But then summer comes around and you realize it'd be rude to leave this person just because it's hot and then you end up with that really awkward, it's really too hot for us to be sleeping in the same bed at night, but I feel rude asking you to leave. And if you live with them, then well, you're just stuck, and I'm sorry. Maybe you should invest in two separate beds. One thing that sucks about being in a relationship is that relationships come with arguments. When was the last time that you were in a relationship with no arguments, huh? Go ahead. I ain't got nothing but time. Go ahead and answer that. Oh, you can't? Damn right you can't because every relationship has an argument. Because for some weird reason, in this weird ass world that we live in, a relationship comes with an argument. You can't have a relationship without an argument. And that shit pisses me off. Because there's always someone talking about somebody's past that you can't change, or somebody always gets jealous. Just be happy with who you are, forget about the past, and move the hell on. Continue the relationship without arguments. But babe, you know how I get when I'm on my period? I love washing a notebook and eating chocolate. Take your damn chocolate and shove it where the sun don't shine. And you know, when you're in a relationship, you know what one of the best things is? Getting two Thanksgivings. But then, on the other side, you have to worry about your significant other's family. And even if you love that person so much, it does not make up for the fact that they may or may not have a completely batshit crazy family. And maybe you're lucky and maybe his mom is just a little neurotic. Or maybe his dad likes to quote Star Wars a little too much. But you can get one of those crazy families that as soon as you walk in the first time to meet them, they ask you when you're gonna pop out grandbabies. Anyway, those were my thoughts and opinions on being in a relationship. Let us know what yours are down below and I will see you guys somewhere on the interwebs. I'm around because I have no life. Bye.